Today I'm going to go over a plugin that's going to allow you to be able to change the shape and makeup on your model's face in a few clicks. Let's get into the video. Guys, right, so we have um, the model right here. As you can see, nothing has been done to this uh, picture and pretty much it's straight out of the camera. So what I'm going to do first is the plugin that I'm referring to here is Retouch For Me, guys. And as a professional, I, I must say that this has allowed me to work much faster and produce my work a lot quicker to my clients. So what I'm going to do is, firstly, you can check out a video over here that's kind of explain this panel, but I'm just going to get straight into it. So what now, what I have right now, guys, is I have heal, dust and burning, portrait volume, skin tone, eye vessel, eye brilliant, and teeth whitening uh, as a selection for this actual uh, uh, set up right here. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to click on retouch. So as you can see guys, with only one click guys, you can see that everything pretty much at least 80 to 90% of the job is already done with this image right here. So let's look at the before and after. That's the before and that's the after. Looking quite amazing, but that's not only it. What I'm going to be introducing you guys to is this new one that they added to their arsenal and it's called Face Make. I'm just going to jump straight into it. But before I actually do that, let me duplicate the layer and have it on top and then now we're going to go into it. So once we're inside the actual plugin now guys is I'm going to just start from left to right just to explain what is on our screen. So on the left side right here, you have a toggle that's going to allow you to show you the before and after. Below that, you're going to, if you hold, click and hold, it's going to see what the wireframe is like. What the wireframe is literally is, it's going to target the areas where the retouch are going to be taking place. So you're talking about if you're doing eyeshadow, if you're doing lipstick, if you're doing like blush, all right? And below that, you're going to have your, your pan and zoom. And then below that you have your wireframe. So what this is now, once you click on it, this is now where you can make actual adjustment to particular parts on the actual wireframe itself. So let me just show you. So if you look at the green areas, these are the areas that um, are going to be pretty much affected. And then you have the white areas that are the inner parts of the wireframe. So what this allows you to do, you have a little uh, dial right here that you can increase or decrease. This is just to show you the size of the actual brush itself. You can see it's get bigger as I go up with a number. And you have right here with the refresh. So pretty much when you make any adjustment to the wireframe mask, you can re reset it. And let me just show you. So literally, if you notice, you can see that I'm actually moving the mask up and down. So this is where you can actually just make adjustment to the actual wireframe itself. All right, so with that done now is I can easily, if I made any mistakes, all I do is just click on reset and it literally just resets the wireframe mask. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it as the default and I'm gonna move on to the right. Over here now, you have your face one, you have export texture, you have lift, makeup, displacement, texture, and reshape. What I'm going to be focusing on today, guys, is because this is still in its beta stage, I'm going to be focusing on lifting makeup. That's a, that's a major part I'm going to be going over today. So let me, let me just go to lifting right now. I'm going to take off the, the, the wireframe right now so that way we can actually see what this is looking like. So now that we have done this now, click on it, you can see what it actually warps the face just already. You can see that. All right. And with that, you can actually increase or decrease it. You can adjust and you can see how smooth the adjustment is when you move the, the dial left or right. And then you also have the dial here where it says feminine lifting and masculine lifting. If I just increase that, you can see what it's actually doing. It might look a little bit weird, but this is where you can actually adjust it to your liking. And I can actually just take the strength down if I don't want so much. And you can see what that actually looks like. Let's just move on. So let's just put it back to 100%. We'll go down. I can see what the masking actually looks like. And you can see right there. And let's just put this back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this to about center point here. And I'm going to decrease the strength of it. And I think I'll leave it just like that. If you want to look at the before and after, like I mentioned before, you come over here and click on it. And you can see what it's doing right there. All right, so let's move on now. So uh, we're gonna move down to the makeup. And the makeup, once we click on that now, nothing happens yet. 
and you can see here I have done none. What you can do is you can click on this menu here and you can actually scroll through and look at the different uh, makeup options that you have or you can actually click on these little arrows right here. So if I click on it, you can see what it's actually doing. Now let me just zoom in just a little bit more so you guys can actually see what's happening. And if I click on it, you can see the adjustments being made to the actual eyes. And also guys, keep in mind, the speed of this is also determined whether how fast your computer actually is. Mine is pretty decent, so it's going through it not too bad. But, and I think these looks really good, and it's, this is at 100% right now. But below the dial right here, which is the depth, you can look at the hue, and I can actually adjust the color of the eyeshadow that I'm seeing right there. And if you double click on it, it resets and go back to the default. Let's just continue moving on. I'm kind of liking that one, so I'll just leave that one for now. Let's just move on. So we're gonna go down now to the lips. And the same principle, you click on the, the menu, you can see the different uh, lip uh, options. And then I can just click on the arrow right here. And just kind of cycle through to see what that actually looks like. What do you think? I think this one looks really nice with this color right here. Let me know what you guys think in the, in the comment section below. And then let's move on. And now we're gonna do face, or rather skin. And the same option, you click on this and you can see the different options right here. This not, doesn't have as much, but I'm gonna go through and select. So these are just your freckles. And I'm just gonna go through. Oh, I like that. That looks actually really nice. Has a nice little blush to the cheeks right there. Actually, actually, wow, it looks really amazing. Let me continue. That looks good too. Not too bad, but I'm actually digging this one right here. I'm actually digging this one right, let me see, not that one. This one, I'm actually liking that one. If I look at the before, after, before, after, it looks really nice. You can see how well the face is actually coming together. And that looks really, really nice, guys. And then now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna show you a little trick that I actually figured out. So let's say you have committed to this look that you want, but you want to add more looks. The only part about this step, guys, is that I wish it was able to add multiple looks within one run, but you actually can't. So what I, what I found what I have to do is I'll go and apply this. So once I apply this, you can see the before and after. Once I apply this look, what I'll do is I'll press, press Command J on my keyboard just to make a copy of that layer and I'll go back in to the actual filter. Once I'm inside the filter here, what I'll do is I'll take off facelift because I don't want to do another facelift again. I already did it already, so I don't need to do that again. And what I'll do is I'll take the eyeshadow off because I really don't need this massive eyeshadow. But even though it doesn't look too bad, if I decrease the strengths, I can make another, like it looks a little bit more drastic. Actually, what I'll do, I'll actually leave that. And what I'll, ne I'll do next is with the lips, I'm gonna take the lips to none. Let's just put that to none so it doesn't trouble the lips. And what I want to do is I want to add those freckles. So I'm going to decide which one I want, and I think I like this one. Or we can actually go with, let's say, hold on, let me go, this one right here. This one actually looks really nice. So what I'll do is I'll put that, and what I'll do is I'll also lower the opacity a little bit. Does not make it just so strong. Bring it down a little bit more. And I think that looks really, really nice. And then I'll leave that. I'll apply that look to the actual, um, and then what I'll do is I'll duplicate it one more time. And then I want to add another little blush on her cheeks. So 
So let's see what we have. I can actually add another layer of freckles, but what I'll do is I'll lower the opacity even more so it's not as strong. Right about there, I think it looks good. And then what I'll do is I'll apply that, but in order for it not to look so bad, I'll add a mask to this, go to my brush, and then just take my opacity down to about 30 something percent. And I'll just wipe away the excess here, just from the cheek area. Just so it's not so strong. Then I'll just duplicate the layer. I'll go back in once more. Then I will just add a little bit more like a makeup on her, her cheeks area right there. And I think that looks really good. It's a bit strong. So I'll just take that down so it's not so strong. And I think that looks really good. Right about there. Let's look at the before and after. So before, after. Let's take off the eyes. I don't need to have the eyes anymore. And let's just increase that a little bit. Let's give it a little bit more. I think that looks really good. And let's just adjust the tone and see. Make it a little bit more on the pink side. Lower that opacity a little bit. Right about there. And then apply that. So as you can see, guys, the, it's really versatile into what you actually can do. So let's look at the before and after. That, to me, is a massive improvement to what we actually came from. That, and that looks really, really natural, guys. Looks fantastic, to be honest with you. Let's look at the before and after up close. Before, after, before, and after. Let me know what you guys actually think about this so far. But the one thing I think I think they could work better at, so let me duplicate, the, the, make a copy of the layer once more. I'm going to go back into the filter. Is this right here. I think they could definitely need some work on this. Let me put this to none so we're not uh, adding any more. Uh, is the wireframe. So I wish that you're able to adjust individual parts on the wireframe itself. What I mean by that is I wish I could remove, move this area by itself, move this area by itself, move this area by itself, as, it, as you can see. But with this now, when you move the wireframe, it's actually moving the entire mass. I don't like that. I really, really don't like that. So I hope that with the update and whatever final uh, adjustment that they need to make, this is one of the main ones that they do because I think this is so much of a, um, a negative if you really want to make granular change to your actual image. And I think the wireframe also could cover a little bit more of the face. And I think if they do that, we will be having an amazing product right here. But right now, like I said, it's still in a testing phase. They're still testing it. They just sent it out for me to test. And I think it's pretty good. It has a lot of potential. And I think, you know, any, any professional out there, once it's, it's actually been finalized, I think will appreciate this product because you can actually have this product. You're not paying a subscription for it. Once you purchase it, it is yours. Um, you know, for 100%. And the next thing too, guys, if you're interested in actually purchasing this product, you can actually get a discount. I'll leave my link in the, in the, in the, in the comments, in the description below, where you can save a massive amount on your purchase right now. So let me know in the description, the comment section below, guys, what you think of this first test and see, and let me know what, what, what changes you think that they should make to actually make this better. And also let me know if this is something that you'll be interested in with your pictures and see let me know guys if this is something that you would be interested in using for your work and like I said this is more geared towards professional because it's a little bit pricey the products are a little bit pricey but with my discount you're going to save quite an amount on your purchase guys and like I mentioned before I can't emphasize this enough there is no subscription with this yes you can actually buy credits where you can actually use it for a short time they actually offer you I think 20 credits for free where you can actually test out each of the tools so 
when you go on the website, you sign up, use my discount code, or I'm going to actually provide a link below where you can actually get the discount automatically applied to your any purchase you're going to have. And use it and test it out. If you don't like it, guys, like I said, you can test it first before you actually make a purchase. So if you don't like it, don't buy it. But I think this is a really good uh, direction that I think they're actually going into. And I think once they fine tune those little changes that I mentioned, I think it will be a really good product. All right, guys. So if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, subscribe for more. And check out this video over here that I think you might enjoy. Take care. Peace.